back to the channel. Um, this is not really gonna be a vlog, just a quick video. My PS4 is out and not on its cooling station over there because I will be training it in for a PS4 Pro. So I'm just making sure I have everything I need to trade it in. It's called GameStop. And they told me HDMI wire, the system of course, a controller, a charger, and the um, adapter, power adapter as well too. So I'm throwing those guys in my North Face here and bring it down to GameStop. I just got back home. We're gonna do a little unboxing on the PS4. Trade mine in and got the new guy. Now, this is not a pro. Um, it is the PS4 Slim, one terabyte. Um, I didn't get the pro. Thanks for you know just bombing the video, Rosie. I didn't get the pro on purpose. Now I was in GameStop doing making some decisions, um, comparing the pro to the Slim. Cause remember, remember I had the original PS4. Um, and prior, um, I did some research um, comparing the two. And honestly, the PS4 Pro does have better, I guess, specs. It can do 4K. I don't have a 4K TV. Probably not gonna have one no time soon. Um, what really made me decide between the two, though, is that um, the Pro is the same size as my older PS4. And the Slim is the size of, like, Michelle Slim. Um, it's a lot smaller. Of course, the Pro has a more updated um, CPU. Of course, same thing with the GPU. Uh, memory is the same thing, same um, 8 gigs, but there is an extra gig on the Pro for Netflix and Hulu and all of your, I guess, media streaming stuff, whatever. Um, and it also adds 4K as well, too. Also, the Pro is standard 1 terabyte. You still can get 500 gigabytes or um, 1 terabyte with the previous. Um, PS4 as well, too. and also the Pro adds one more USB slot um, compared to the Slim as well, too. But those those guys is not what really made me decide on the Slim compared to the Pro. So the Slim uses less energy compared to the original PS4 and PS4 Pro. The Slim is about 85 watts. The PS4 I had prior is 142 watts, and the Pro is 149 watts. Also, the Pro is going to be louder out of the three. Um, the original PS4 like I had before is, is going to be loud as well too, almost like the Pro, and this one's going to be way quieter than both, and I can tell from Michelle's PS4, barely hear any of that guy as well too. What is this cat doing? <laughs> and of course, this guy is $100 cheaper than the Pro. Um, honestly, the, um, PS5 is not going to be next after the Pro. I mean, I might as well just do a major upgrade when I do the Pro. Biggest issue was the memory, and I don't really need uh, you know anything more than what I had before. Just definitely more space because I couldn't. I used up all the 500 gigs on my previous PS4. So let's unbox it. Nope, dropping the box already. Let's unbox it. Probably not. You know this cat is something else. Oh, she does go by the window in this sunbathe. Well, let's get back to the PS4. Let's unbox it. Um, uh, I guess before I unbox it, let me at least show you what comes in it. The Slim or controller, the original P4 um, headset, power, USB, um, HDMI, and a little booklet. So, tells you right down there, printed materials. A mono headset, to be exact. DualShock 4 wireless controller. So it's boxed within a box, which is good packaging. Um, I'm gonna try to open this with one hand, so. Oh, okay, it's right here. So if anyone is unboxing their PS4, don't make mistakes I just made just now. Okay, so you just gotta pull this tab right here. Which will be easier. It's gonna be easy for you guys, so you guys don't have two hands, but let me show you. And here's everything in here. Use my trusty feet. Nope, means two hands. Okay, so you just literally slide the PS4 right out and look like everything else is in there at the bottom of the box. So I was gonna try to slide everything that was inside to this end, but I just opened the other end because I guess this is much easier. I was making it harder than it is. And I'm gonna show everything that comes out of it. Let me just pull everything out. And that's about it. 
fling the box away. And we have the PS4, of course. The start guide. The best place to play. I guess like a little catalog. Start your free trial today. Just cool. We'll play some stuff. USB charger. Controller. AC power adapter. So the PlayStation headphones that come with the uh, PlayStation, these things are horrible. They break like in two seconds. It's always good to have another piece of headphones. And we have the HDMI. And the controller. Brand new controller. Oh, I can smell it. Smell a brand new controller. Oh. So what we're gonna do is we're going to I know wiring crazy. I actually need to still do the I got the um the little clips to organize it, so I gotta do that as well too. But um we're gonna hook the PS4 up back to where my other PS4 was at. Alright guys, so we're going to hook this bad boy up. This is gonna be a short video, it's not gonna be a vlog or anything like that. But this is something that's really important to the channel, so I just wanna let you guys know. This is so cool. So one, this thing is way lighter than my PS4. And if you look, you get the, like the PlayStation controller buttons on the back. I never noticed this, this is cool. That's cool. Yeah. And then compared to mine, it's a lot smaller. Still have two USBs in the front. Look at it. HDMI, auxiliary in the back, power, your, your LAN. And then the PlayStation buttons, remember how it was touched before? Now it just buttons. Mm. Now that little touch thing with Jiggy. All right, so. I don't know, baby. So since it's a lot smaller, it doesn't look like it's, it don't fit as stable as my last PS4. I don't know if this will fall from here. I don't know. All right, guys. So we're gonna get to the wiring. How I wire my PS4. The sun is going down, so I have to use my little light so you guys can see. This sleeve is what I use. I got it for Walmart. Um, this one down here can look a little bit more organized. Um, I have it. I had it for my older PS4, so we're gonna run the power things through there and trace it right back up there. So I got my lighting down here. Um, so my Elgato is tucked down here with all this crazy wiring, but I do have my clips here to organize all down here as well. And I do have one sleeve. That um might use as well too. So I don't think I'm gonna go with the same setup I had before. I might switch to make it a lot more cleaner, a lot more neater. First thing we're gonna do is I already have the power cable, you know, right around there to get right here. I just gotta um plug in the HDMI um in so from the PS4 to the Elgato. I'm gonna do that right now. So HD HDMI is around here, AC power is around here as well too. Um, I guess the next step is just to I guess put the PS4 on there for right now and Actually try to clean all this crap up. So some time has passed. I actually have to run out come back So it's a few hours later and my voice sound kind of different. I don't know. I went outside and it's caught a cold or something. It's crazy. I don't know where but Look how neater it is now and I'm not even done. Well, this cord is not gonna just come like this. It's gonna actually go around as well too, but I'm using that for the light for right now. So this picture, mine is this cord, and then this orange one is um, Michelle's PS4. We're gonna get a, another outlet for her PS4 separate over there, so it's not gonna plug in over here. Other than that, look how clean this thing is. So let me show you guys how I got it as clean. So of course I use the sleeve right there for the PS4, HDMI, and power. Elgato is right there. And then you see here, all the wires are tucked in back up here. And against there as well too. <laughs> and one thing I learned is that this is what I'm using. And basically, focus, I'm gonna put it down here. So basically with this little guy here, um, I need me to block the, the camera. You put the wire in there and then you stick it to the wall and then you just clip it. So I thought that the wire just sits in the hook like that. So most of my wires are just not, it's, it's not closed, just sitting in the wire like that. And then actually this guy here, I was pushing it down to like so it could stick and it clipped in. So I'm like, oh shoot, it clips in. So 
I'm about to clip all those guys in there. I just want to make sure that um, I have all my wires tucked first before I clip anything. So far, looking like it's ready to be clipped in. Um, but like I said, the charger, that's a, the laptop charger, don't worry about that, or this lamp. This lamp is going to be rewired and be up there, so it's not going to be in the way. So it looks way cleaner than before. And then I have the PS4 over here on the, on the little cooling station here. So we might, once I get the wires clipped in, they have to worry about the top up here, and then we're gonna turn the PS4 on. So down there's all done. So it looks a lot more cleaner. Um, it's up here, what I'm worried about. So I have a USB hub because the MacBook only comes with two USB slots, and I need at least four. So I have a little extra hub. I was planning on having this hub out the way, not on the desk. I actually have it back there, but I need an extender to so I can plug into the computer. Cause look how short this guy is. So that's in the future. So for right now, it's gonna, it's gonna sit right here, but eventually I'm gonna hide that behind the desk as well too with the clamps and all the wiring and stuff. Um, everything else, pretty much, pretty much is good. So let's hook the PS4 up. Okay, so we're powering the PS4 for the first time, waiting for the load up. Got it all plugged in and stuff. Fresh controller, love the feel of this. So it's telling me connect those shots, blah, blah, blah. I think, cause I'm using the hub. I will have to plug it directly into PS4. So I got to do all these connections and set up and all stuff. So let me skip that and I'll show you guys when this is pulled up. All right, guys, so I got it connected to the internet. Um, I don't use Wi-Fi. I use the LAN cable, so I plug, plug plug it directly from the modem to my PS4. Um, I have to update it, though, 20 minutes. But uh, before I traded my PS4, I backed everything up to this thumb drive from the other PS4. So I'm going to throw this into the PS4 once it's done um, uploading. That way, I didn't lose everything. I have everything right back to normal. Have, make sure if you train the EPS4, back it up before you do anything for you. Trade it and restore it and everything. Also, um, GameStop actually will restore it for you, so you don't have to wait 10 years to restore your PS4, then bring it out there. They will do it there. And also, they have to like test it out and play it before they um, restore it anyway. So, just a little hint there to save you some time. Alright, so the PS4 is ready to go. Um, first thing I'm going to do is... Oh, my game fell back here. First thing I'm going to do is install, after, now here's the bad part, I'm going to install all the games back. First thing I'm going to install is GTA, which is going to take 10 years, but it's okay. Um, and I should be good to go after this. Alright, apologize if I look crazy. Like I said, I'm coming under the weather right now. Some weird, I got some Vicks vapor drops in right now. Hopefully I feel better by tomorrow. So but, uh, huh? <laughs> And Michelle's over there watching her YouTube subscription. Make sure y'all follow her too. Um, Shell Bell Beauty is her YouTube page. And then Shall We Let's Play is her game, Let's Play game page. And I'll put all the links in the description as well too. But um, basically, the game room is, you know, it's really coming together, you know, from where we started. If you go back in the videos, you see where we started from. Came a long way. Um, we still have to get another desk. Right now we have this guy right now. There's a lot of stuff on here right now, but because new PS4, I have to I have to clean everything up. I got my wires cleaned up. I'm happy for that. Um, gotta clean everything else up. But um, we're gonna add another extra desk. So Michelle's PS4, she can have her own little setup on the desk, and then she won't have to set up like right here. It'll be like more, you know, up on the desk or something like that. And yeah, we just have some Sonic, so that's why you see a little, little, little green apple jar next to slushy. Make sure y'all get that. I think it's good. Um, also, I want to do my dual screen setup as well, too. So, all this stuff is coming soon. Um, I'm going to put more, like, stuff on the walls and stuff. I had a Supreme poster there, but it kept falling. I need to get that framed. My GTA um, map thing right here falling as well, too. I need to get that framed as well, too. But, um, it's coming real nicely. Um, basically, I'm installing these games right now. Look at that. That's going to take, like, 10 years. Um... I'm gonna um, update all the stuff on my thumb drive right to it as well too, and just start over. But I'm gonna end this. It's not really a vlog. I guess it is a vlog. This little unboxing new PS4. 
Um, hopefully I see you guys at some meets, some streams, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. I'm just continuing eating my little Vic stuff and feel better. All right, take care. You want to say bye, mama? Bye. Nope. <laughs> bye, guys. All right, deuces, guys. Before I even go away, um, I've noticed they changed the controls a little bit. So the, the light bar goes through the touchpad. And then the, the sticks and like the arrows and stuff is like gray. This is the new PS4 controller. Look at the old one. See, look, it's black. Um, arrows and stuff like that. And then I'll have it on, but the light just goes through there. When the new one, the light goes through the touchpad, which is cool. I right, a little touch. Oh, the sticks are gray too. See, this is black. Focus. There we go. Gray. So that's a little nice little touch.